Ladies and gentlemen, we skipping the intro, we skipping the extra dialogue, we jumping straight into this conversation. Y'all already know y'all welcome to the Sauce Mob. We accept everybody with open arms, you feel me? We accept everybody out there. You know you always welcome to the Sauce Mob. If you out there, just slide through, you feel me? So anyway, a day or two ago, we watched the Qua 54 in Paris trailer. It's right here on my computer screen. I should have probably plugged my headphones in to be honest. All right, we checked out this trailer. You know this, I know this. We already looked at all this. Now in the HD version, 1080p is actually on the internet because when I reviewed it, I only could see it on Instagram. But let's go back and look at the sneakers they were previewing. Young Thug had on his Instagram these Jordan 3s right here, ladies and gentlemen. NBA Live is a genius idea right here. This is what NBA Live has over 2K. This is why I decided to skip the intro. Because this is what, me personally, this is what I want from a video game. It's, it's okay that 2K is creating their own world, their own park with the Rivet, Old Town. They, it's cool that they're doing their own creative, imaginary thing. But you, can, you can't compete with the realistic ideas, bro. The Qua 54, a real life location that we all could actually go to, actual sneakers that go with that location, there's no way that these sneakers are going to be in NBA 2K because they don't have this location. There would be no reason for 2K to even put these shoes in their game. And these are beautiful sneakers, bro. These are shoes I would love to see in 2K, but you know and I know they're not going to be a colorway in 2K because the Quad 54 isn't even in the game, bro. It just makes perfect sense. Once you start adding in real life locations to your video game, it adds a personal connection with the gamer. Anybody that's in Paris that play live, they gonna know about this place. I don't know about it because I don't live in damn Paris. How am I supposed to know? But when I saw that Philadelphia had their own court inside NBA Live, I dedicated myself to completing that location. There's a video on my channel of it. I need y'all to understand. This is what makes live the potential to be better, bro. The real life things. And now my stuff froze. It ain't moving. The why not? These are Russell sneakers in the Qua 54 colorway. Then we got, I don't even know what these are. I legit do not even know. They look like Jordan Futures, to be honest. If those aren't Futures, I don't know what they are. And we got the threes in the white colorway. Bro, it's just beautiful. Then look at the jersey of the Qua. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's take this uh, one step further. I re-showed you this trailer for a reason. NBA Live showed us this trailer for a reason. Guess what? This trailer came out two days ago. And yesterday was the actual Qua 54 event, ladies and gentlemen. That's why they showed us the trailer, because they lined it up perfectly with the real life event. That sells the game itself, bro. That is why this is such a genius idea of putting real life locations in your video game because now when real life has events at that location, you can promote your game in the meantime. It sells itself. It goes hand in hand. Real life event, that event is in my video game so I can sell them together. That's why they dropped this Qua trailer because the slam dunk contest is out there. And guess what? The slam dunk contest went viral, and now NBA Live is associated with this dunk contest. Look at this, bruh. Let's get out here. Hey. What the hell? All right, that was a basic dunk, but the backflip was pretty clean. Hey. All these shoes are in the game, bro. It just sells itself. This is genius. He almost broke his ACL with that. Hold on, that landing looked sketchy. Money almost tore his ACL coming down. That was a basic ass dunk. Look at the landing, goodness, bro. Oh, I like that dunk. 
I hate between the legs, bro. That's so basic. Ah, uh, that was basic too. We might need a different angle. I don't like the angle that they're showing this at. Good windmill. He jumped over the guy riding the bike. I just noticed the guy was riding the bike under him. I just noticed that. Hold on, DJ. Hold on, DJ. Let me see. Bull riding the bike. Yeah, he leaked the guy on the bike. Off the glass. This is the dunk that went viral, ladies and gentlemen. That's the dunk that made this whole thing go viral. I wouldn't even have known about this event if it wasn't for this dunk. He banked it off the glass, made the shot, caught it, and finished that thing. That sells NBA Live itself. You can't tell me it don't. You can't tell me it don't, bro. That just makes perfect sense. This is why 2K need multiple locations in their video game. This is why they need real life locations in the game. This is why NBA Live need better gameplay. So people could just easily choose it over 2K. Because Live gonna give you the accessories and sneakers that go with each location that's in the game they take their time to do background research on the location they not just half ass in these locations they going full throttle with these things they they made the choir to the tooth i love them for that <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments what you thinking about all this. We just talked about this trailer the other day, I know that. But what I didn't know is that there was an actual slam dunk contest popping off in the choir. And that's why they showed us the trailer in the first place, bro. That sells the game itself. That adds another level of excitement. That's beautiful, bro. Come on. Y'all got to give props where props is due. I can't wait for live to drop so I can get my hands on that gameplay. Or in the near future... If the gameplay ain't up to par now, I just hope in the future they get it right, bro. Because NBA Live 18 gameplay, that ain't going to cut it to be taking the game seriously. But I'm really hoping that the gameplay of Live 19 is fun and extremely exciting because these locations are already getting me hyped for the game. I had no idea that that was a real life event taking place and that's why they showed us that trailer. Ladies and gentlemen, Live is making great marketing strategies. It's obvious they ain't trying to rob us of our money for VC like the other company is. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about the Quad 54 down in the comments. Did you see that dunk contest clip where the guy hit off the backboard, made the shot, then caught it between his legs? Did y'all see that before this video? Because I'm pretty sure y'all had to. It was all over Instagram for me. I don't know about y'all, but that video clip was all over IG for me. When I saw that that was the Quad 54, my suspicion, my, my spider senses started damn tingling. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the button that say subscribe, join the mob. While you at it, follow me on my social media. There's a Twitter, there's an Instagram. They both I-T-Z-R-E-A-S-E. -E. Yeah, other than that, it's been your boy Reese and Peace, you feel me? Yeah,